Hey everybody, so this is a bodybuilder sketch, and I don't know, I was just uh, screwing around, uh, working on drawing, just some little warm up, have a little bit of fun, and one of you guys to end up seeing it. So, yeah, I couldn't quite figure out what it was supposed to be holding, it was supposed to end up looking like a building by the end of it, but it's a little bit small to be a building. <laughs> and I wanted to have him have one of those weird bodybuilder poses. I don't know. I, I don't know what it is about the bodybuilding stuff it, where you got to pose really weird to end up having whatever happen. But anyways, it, this is what I came up with. I mean, it Looks like he skipped leg day a little bit. A little bit, little bit more sketch lines and everything there. But yeah, it honestly seems like a pretty cool a pretty cool guy. Seems like he would hold up a building for you. For you. Now whether he gets paid after the fact, who knows? But that's um, everyone's trying to make some money these days, so nothing to worry about there. But yeah. Now, the one thing that does bother me a little bit is uh, posing of the hands. If I had done it correctly, we would not be seeing any thumbs. <coughs> and we would not be seeing really any of the palms of the hands or the bottoms of the fingers. So obviously that was a thing. <coughs> and then is it left arm? Left arm, yeah, it doesn't really hook onto the body quite right. And then, yeah, is it, it just doesn't look right on that side. And then you end up having the legs, they're a little bit more geometric than the rest of the body. But the one thing I will say that came out right was that curve on the body like he's he's definitely leaning towards one way and you have let's just call it the building the building that is leaning the other way also now bear in mind anyone who studies body mechanics or looks at comic books for more of the artistic part of the book, you know that his left arm would have definitely been showing more strain. It would have been curled down in more of a triangle, triangle-esque shape than the, the other arm would be a lot straighter. But we didn't do that today, and the thing about stuff like this is it's, it's practice, it's fun, it's supposed to be there for enjoyment. Now, I like showing a lot of the drawings that I make where there are sketch lines, there are messed up parts of the picture, because... There are so many people out there who can just seem to come up with perfection and get a lot of views for it, it and good on them. If they can do that, cool. But there are so many of us who end up not hitting the bullseye every single time. And it's good to know that not every piece of art is going to be perfect. It's not going to be realistic. It's not going to be impressionistic. It's not going to be some sort of postmodern contemporary stuff every time. And I may come back to this later and find 10,000 other things that are wrong with it. <laughs> because that's the nature of self-improvement. You come back to something you saw earlier on and went, wow. How did I do that? That's crazy. But 
I like making these videos. I I really appreciate everyone who ends up watching them because I feel like they got something they needed. And if you want to see more content like this, I've got plenty of videos. And some of them look good. Some of them are duds. They just didn't turn out well. But I still want to put my art on here to end up it showing everyone, hey, not all art has to be Rembrandt and Picasso. Sometimes it can be a sketch with a left arm that's all goofy and a bunch of just sketch lines. All right. Well, anyways, that's about all I have for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.